Hey, what's up? My name is A.D. Dixon Bay, and I suffer from mental illness. A lot of people don't understand why mental illness happens. I'm not going to sit here and act like I have a full understanding of why my anxiety comes on or why I feel anxious when I feel anxious, why I feel depressed when I feel depressed. I can't tell you why it all happens when it happens, but I can help you with a few tools on how to prevent what you're going through. The first thing, don't stress out about stuff you cannot deal with right now. I go through an anxiety attack every single day and the first thing I do is I make sure that I'm not stressing myself out about stuff that I can't control or stuff that I can't fix right at this particular moment. Step two, don't be afraid to admit I'm scared of this. I don't like this situation. I don't I don't like how this feels. Get in tune with your feelings, you know? And while you're getting in tune with your feelings, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say, journal. Get you a pen and pad and write down what you're going through. Like everything that you're going through, if you can get it all out on paper at that particular moment. And if you can do that, then we can start breaking down What's triggering your depression, your anxiety, you know? It's, it's kind of simple, but it's really not that simple. Now, when journaling, you have to be very, very clear on what's going on. And don't try to dilute anything. Make sure it's clear cut. It's everything, you know? And this is the harder part of it. But once you can see what you're going through then you can actually start trying to figure out how to put a plan into action now like i said this isn't the easiest part you know you may need help from a friend from a family member you know what i'm saying you need to you may hear need to hear some stuff that's that's you know that's not necessarily good or positive to help you fix things in your life because trust me everything is not going to be positive you know what i'm saying and everything is not going to be sugar-coated either you know there's some people who absolutely love you who's going to tell you the god honest truth and it's going to hurt but until you can get that perspective that outside perspective and match it with with you know what i'm saying your plan on 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 helping putting your life back together then you're until you're until you able until you're able to get it you're not going to be able to like really 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 move forward so my suggestion is while journaling make sure absolutely make sure that you're talking to other people and ask them their opinion on you you know what I'm saying? How they feel about you. You know what I'm saying? And tell them to be as honest as possible. Now, some people, and you know who these people are, they're going to try to hurt your feelings on purpose. They really are. And those are the people who you're going to kind of want to stay away from. But if it's somebody you absolutely love and trust, that's the person that you need to hear that from. You know what I'm saying? And not everybody's opinion of you is going to be what you want. However, however, the worst thing you could ever do when trying to rebuild yourself or trying to fix an issue in your life, the worst thing you could ever do is just go off of your opinion alone. Now, People will tell you, oh, I don't care what this person thinks. I don't care what that person thinks. I don't care what nobody else thinks about me. But you need to see how people are looking at you so you can fix things in your life. So with that being said, this is why I said journaling is going to be 
easy, but one of the harder parts of all of this. All right, now to the fourth thing, putting a plan into action. Um, no matter what it is, you know, we have to plan, 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 and stick to the plan if we're trying to accomplish our goals on, on becoming anxiety free and learning what our triggers are. You know what I'm saying? Learning, learning what's making us feel this way. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to be one of the first people to tell you, you're not worthless. You know, the world is not a better place without you. You know, you have so many things to live for, you know, so putting a plan into action is key into fixing what is wrong with you and, you know, what's going on in your life. And don't procrastinate. Don't be afraid to see a therapist or talk to your somebody who you're really close to about your issues. Don't be afraid to say how you feel, you know? And no, I'm not telling you to be out, just super outspoken and yell, oh, I don't like that. No, 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 no. Tell yourself, man, I don't like that. I don't like the way I feel. And then work on learning, or work, on learn, or work on learning why you feel that way. You know what I'm saying? Work on, you know what I'm saying, on how to change your mind. You know what I'm saying? Gain back control of your mind. It's really, really important. And with a plan put in action, yeah, you can definitely do some things. So, this is part one. Part one of what I, one of my new projects that I'm working on on my channel. And um, you know what? This is what anxiety looks like. I look normal. This is what depression looks like. I look normal. And I do suffer from mental illness. Thank you for watching my video. And if you got a chance, or if you get a chance, please, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and please, again, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can get first CZs on what's going on on my channel. There's a lot of new things going on, a lot of fun things going on, and I want you, and I'm welcoming you to be invited to come on in and enjoy it with me and everybody else who's watching my channel. I'm Avril Dixon Bay, a.k.a. A-T-A-K-B.